Hi. This video introduces HairPoint Help Desk for SharePoint. HairPoint Help Desk is a fully functional ticketing system for processing incoming user requests and queries about products or services. The product is developed for SharePoint 2010 and SharePoint 2013. HairPoint Help Desk can be used for two purposes, to support users inside the company or to process requests from clients, customers, and partners on internet-facing websites. This demo introduces the main features of the product and covers their fundamental operation. They include a licensing model that does not put any limitation on the number of help desk operators or users, an operator console that is well designed and simple in use. It includes a number of tools that simplify request processing and decrease response time, request creation by email or through a special web part which is provided with the product. Help desk operators can also create requests on behalf of users. Incoming requests can be automatically assigned to a specified operator or to a group of operators based on data entered in the request fields. Manual assignment of requests is also supported. Help desk includes flexible rules to monitor request lifecycle and to prevent SLA violations. A set of reports included in the product lets you keep a finger on the pulse of support activity and to see the workload of each operator, as well as their success rate for resolving requests. Product deployment and initial configuration are very simple processes. You do not need to involve SharePoint developers or high-cost specialists to build a fully functional ticketing system in your company. Help Desk allows you to customize the forms and the templates for the email confirmations and notifications sent to users and operators. Now let us show you the product. In this demo, we are using the Help Desk website with demo data deployed. The demo pack allows users to start exploring the product in a few minutes after deployment. It includes a set of user requests, configured rules to monitor the SLA, templates of operator replies, and a few articles in the knowledge base. Deploying the demo pack is the best way to learn the product in the shortest amount of time. We will show you the product deployment process and how to create a help desk website at the end of this video. Now let's investigate the look and feel of HairPoint Help Desk. HairPoint Help Desk consists of four components. The first one is a special web part which you can add to any SharePoint page to allow users to create new requests and to see replies to them. The second component is a technician dashboard where help desk operators manage the requests. The third one is the reports dashboard which allows analysis of request creation, responses, resolution, and processing, along with indications of SLA violations. The fourth component is a page with product settings. This page allows the site administrator to configure the product. We will start the product overview with the technician dashboard. The technician dashboard is the main location for help desk operators when managing requests. The left pane of the dashboard includes a lot of different views which simplify navigation across a great number of requests. For example, the request dispatcher may use the unassigned requests view to look through such requests and assign them to technicians. A technician may use the unanswered requests view or the my unanswered requests view to see the requests assigned to him or her which are still awaiting a response. The central pane shows a list of requests that correspond to the selected view. The top pane includes buttons to apply different actions to selected requests. Delete, assign to a technician or group of technicians, export requests to PDF, search across the requests, etc. An operator can view a request in inline mode without page reload. This mode is useful when an operator needs to look through the requests and perform a group operation like delete, change status, or assign the requests to a technician. HairPoint Help Desk allows the assigning of requests to a single technician or to a group of technicians. The technician dashboard includes a set of additional tools to simplify navigation across a great number of requests. It allows grouping of the requests by one or a few fields. All view parameters which an operator adjusts in the dashboard are personal. They do not affect the list's appearance for other operators. 
Operators may also adjust the column's order, width, and sorting mode, or apply additional filters for column requests. To reply to a request, it should be opened in the request editor. While working with a request, an operator may display or hide the additional request fields where, for example, the operator may see all requests re created in by this user. An operator may leave internal comments which are displayed only to operators. They're hidden from users. An operator may also view the history of request changes. When answering a request, the operator may use public or personal reply templates to respond to frequently asked questions using just a few mouse clicks, or the operator may insert a link to an article from the product's knowledge base into the reply. When an operator provides a resolution, the reply should be marked as a resolution. In this case, a special message is sent to the user stating that the request is resolved. Confirmation of the resolution is required. To exclude the possibility that multiple operators answer the same request, at the right of the reply field there is a list of users who are viewing the request at the given moment. Operators may lock the request to prevent other operators from replying. The request will be unlocked as soon as the operator replies to it or if the operator closes the ticket editor window. When it is necessary to involve other specialists in resolving a request, an operator may create and assign one or more tasks which are linked to the request. When a task is created, the status of the request is changed to on hold, and this request is removed from the list of unanswered requests. As soon as the task is closed, the request status is changed to open, and the operator gets notification to resume work with the request. To monitor the life cycle of the request and SLA compliance, several of the product settings should be configured. First, you can adjust timeouts for important processes such as the assignment of a responsible technician and auto-closing of the request. The second step is to create rules to monitor SLA compliance and setting the maximal time for the first response and the total time for re resolution of the request. The key to the SLA system is the engine which monitors the request lifecycle. This engine is managed by SLA rules which allow selection of which request parameters should be monitored. Such rules can be created for each client, each product, each category, or for request priority levels. The rules allow you to configure actions for response time and up to four escalation levels for request resolution time to prevent SLA violations. For example, at the first level, it can send notification before the response and resolution time expire. Time can be configured from minutes to days. At the second level, it can change the request priority to high. At the third level, it can escalate the request to a senior technician. Each level can be configured to trigger before or after the resolution time runs out. The number of such rules is unlimited. For example, you can create a separate SLA rule for a VIP clients, a separate rule for requests with high priority, etc. The request processing and monitoring methods are configured in the product settings and in SLA rules, but are executed by standard SharePoint declarative workflows. In some cases, when the settings don't offer you the required flexibility you need, you can modify the processing algorithm directly in the workflows using SharePoint Designer. This is a powerful mechanism which allows compliance even when dealing with very exotic requirements. Using SharePoint Designer, you can also brand the notification templates for emails sent by Help Desk to users and technicians. Strictly speaking, the notification messages are not just notifications, as the user may reply to them and the reply will be added to the request thread. Using this feature, users may work with Help Desk without opening the SharePoint website at all. The operator can create a request on behalf of the user and the user will get a notification by email and continue working with the request by answering emails. 
if the product is properly configured, user accounts can be created automatically when a request is created or when a new request is received by email, meaning that the user can create new requests just by sending an email message to the designated email address. Now let's look at the web part which shows users a list of their own requests and allows new ones to be created. This web part can be placed on any SharePoint website. When the user creates a new request using a web page where the SharePoint Help Desk web part is placed, the Help Desk shows the user articles from the product's knowledge base which correspond to the entered keywords. This helps reduce the number of requests which come through to the operators. The form to create new requests can be easily customized and you can add any number of additional fields. The Help Desk Administrator can limit the allowed attachment size and select the types of attachments which can be added to the request. The next important part of the product is the set of reports which help monitor operator workload, response time, and success rate in resolving requests within the requirements of the service level agreements. To generate a report, just click the report name in the list and specify the period of time from which data should be displayed. It is possible to subscribe to reports by email and to choose whether to receive them in PDF or XLS format automatically on a configurable schedule. Now we will show you how to create your own help desk site. It can be done easily and fast. The product deployment and initial configuration are very simple processes and the product is ready for use out of the box. Minimal configuration steps are required. After product deployment, it is necessary to create a new website based on the HairPoint Help Desk template. You can create an unlimited number of Help Desk sites in your system based on this site template. When the website is created, it's necessary to perform a few configuration steps to activate all the product features. First, you need to specify the Help Desk operators, or technicians and the Help Desk users. HairPoint Help Desk supports third-party authentication providers and can create user accounts automatically. This feature is required if you wish to allow the creation of requests by external users who do not yet have accounts in SharePoint or when you need to configure the product to receive requests by email. Second, we need to configure the notifications which the product sends by email to users and technicians. We specify the URL of the Help Desk website and the URL of the page where the Help Desk web part is placed. These URLs are used in the notifications and we need to configure them. Third, we need to add the Help Desk web part to a page on a SharePoint website. This web page will be used by the users to create new requests and to view the operator responses. We advise placing the web part outside the HairPoint Help Desk website. In this case, users will not have access to the Help Desk website, which is better for security. In the web part settings, it is necessary to specify the URL of the Help Desk website to which this web part will be connected. Also, you can adjust the web part appearance. The last configuration step is to enter data in the categories and products lists. Data from these lists is displayed to users when requests are created so the user can select the corresponding category of the request and the product. It is possible to specify an operator or group of operators to which the request will be automatically assigned according to the user's selection in the category or product list. HairPoint Help Desk allows creation of subcategories and subproducts. Now the HairPoint Help Desk is ready to use. Additional configuration steps will be required when you need to configure SLA monitoring and automatic request escalation or the creation of requests received by email. Also, you will need to add articles to the product's knowledge base and modify the reply templates to your unique needs. You may also need to add additional fields to the request creation form or rename the existing fields. HairPoint Help Desk is a simple and robust product which starts working out of the box. The product can be installed and configured without the involvement of SharePoint developers. Any SharePoint administrator can do it because the product requires minimal configuration and adjustments. 
You can download a free 30-day trial version of the product on our website, www.hairpoint.com.